Hello Year 9, well we've finished the play now and we're going to do some uh, essay prep today and then um, you're going to write the essay uh, the next time we meet um, or rather you meet, well the next time we, I talk at you. Anyway for now, uh, the do now uh, is five minutes, summarise this play in three sentences to someone who's never seen it. It's actually quite a hard thing to do, see if you can do that. Our learning objective today is exploring essay writing techniques. Uh, so your title is Essay Writing Techniques. And as ever, a quick check as we're still remote for this lesson, you're going to need a copy of the exam question. Um, your notes from this term's work, different coloured pens and highlighters. Before we look at an exam question, let's do a rev review of the play and its different subplots. And there's quite a lot of them, aren't there? Uh, I've left blank the scenes you need for each plot. Use your notes to fill in uh, brief details for each scene on your copy, which has uh, been attached to class charts. Remember that you've already done notes on um, Claudio and Hero and Benedict and Beatrice that could help you with this. If you find this task difficult, just do the Don John column, as we'll need that information for today's lesson. So uh, at the very least, make sure you do the Don John column. Um, Now, when you get to your GCSE, you'll be given a choice of two questions to answer on the Shakespeare text you've studied. You'll have 45 minutes to answer. One of these questions will come with an extract to explore and use quotes from, but the other requires you to work entirely from memory. Both questions will require you to write about at least two moments, so knowing quotations is important for either question. The essay question will expect you to demonstrate clear points which answer the question and argument idea, evidence from the text, literary terminology, e.g. soliloquy, dramatic irony, metaphor, etc. Analysis of language and structure, looking at the meaning of individual words. Reference to context, e.g. this could be literary, e.g. context of a Shakespearean tragedy or comedy, the audience in the theatre, etc., etc., but also historical, you know, for example, Elizabethan England and the concept of cuckoldry. Remember that when that's when a, a wife has been unfaithful to her husband, he becomes a, a cuckold. Illegitimate children, sex before marriage, the role of women, honour and chivalry, etc. OK, this is how it looks when you get your GCSE. It says, choose one question. You're advised to spend 45 minutes on this section. So you can either pick uh, the question that uses the quote, which is what most people do, or if they have a particularly easy uh, essay question, um, you can do that. So here we are, choose one question. You're advised to spend about 45 minutes on this section. So the question for the uh, quoted, the, the, the bit with the extract is, explore how Don John is presented as a villain in the play and how his actions are shown to be destructive. Refer to this extract from Act 1, Scene 3 and elsewhere in the play. So here's the extract there. Um, in this extract, Don John is explaining to Conrad why he is always in a bad mood. Conrade, yea, but you must not make the full show of this till you may do it without controlment. You have of late stood out against your brother, and he hath taken you newly into his grace, where it is impossible you should take true root but by the fair weather you make yourself. It is needful that you frame the season for your own harvest. Don John, I had rather be a canker in a hedge than a rose in his grace, and it better fits my blood to be disdained of all than to fashion a carriage to rob love from any. In this, though, I cannot be said to be a flattering, honest man. It must not be denied, but I am a plain-dealing villain. I am trusted with a muzzle and enfranchised with a clog. Therefore, I have decreed not to sing in my cage. If I had my mouth, I would bite. If I had my liberty, I would do my liking. In the meantime, let me be that I am and seek not to alter me. So you'd be looking at um, that extract and exploring how Don John is presented as a villain in the play and how, um, in that extract and how his actions are shown to be destructive. You, then you refer to that as extract and you also talk about other places in the play. Or, so it's either or, you do the uh, how do misunderstandings in love create humour or tragedy in the play? Explore at least two moments from the play to support your idea. That's the what we call the discursive essay question. Now the first thing you need to do is pick out what we call the command words in the sentence, in the uh, question. So the question is explore, this is for the extract question, explore how Don John is presented as a villain in the play and how his actions are shown to be destructive. So Don John is presented as a villain, how his actions are shown to be destructive. Those are the uh, uh, 
um, command words in the question. So the question is about Don John's villainous and destructive behaviour. So what you're looking for in anything in this set section that shows that he behaves as a villain or wants to destroy things. So uh, spend five minutes reading through and picking out anything you can that shows his villainous behaviour in this scene. Highlight it and annotate it. There we are. I won't read them all out again. Um, you can read those. Stop the uh, presentation there and annotate your extract in that way. Now, you only want to, so that they ask you to talk about the extract. And the question is, you know, the, the, the command words in the question are Don John is presented as a villain, how his actions are shown to be destructive. So you're talking about the extract in that regard, then you've got to talk about somewhere else in the play as well. So you make a list of all the other places in the play where Don John is presented as a villain and his actions are shown to be destructive. Um, and there's a list underneath for you there. I think Act 2, Scene 2, when Baracchio tells uh, Don John about his relationship with Margaret and the opportunity to con Claudio again. Uh, this one seems the best example of Don John plotting and I can remember some quotes from it. That's important, of course, that you can remember some quotes. So at this point, you would write down any quotes from your other point in the uh, other point in the play, and these are mine from Act Two, Scene Two. Now, what you need is uh, is what we call a critical statement, which is a paragraph that opens your opens your piece. So what we're looking to do is the question is this: explore how Don John is presented as a villain in the play, and how his actions are shown to be destructive. Refer to this extract from Act One, Scene Three, and elsewhere in the play. So what you're going to do is try to sum up your overall idea in a sentence. It's useful, it's useful if you can bring context into your essay as soon as possible to consider if it applies to the question. Consider why the character or relationship is presented that way. Why is Don John a villain? Why is he destructive? What's motivated that villainy? So here we are. Don John is presented as a villain desperate to destroy the marriage of Claudio and Hero. His fury towards Claudio, Don John's right-hand man, is connected with his bitterness towards his brother, Don John is the bastard and has presumably suffered with the stigma of this. However, his desire to harm Hero, a sweet and innocent woman, shows his truly destructive and unforgivable demeanour. He is the plain dealing villain of the play and receives no sympathy from the audience for his actions, which kill both the marriage and Hero, at least for a time. Well, we all think she's dead for a while. So that's, what, that, that's a, an opening statement for the uh, part of the play that I chose to talk about. Now I want you to write one paragraph, your opening, uh, your opening paragraph or more if you've got time or you feel inclined, but don't worry too much because we're going to be writing the whole thing in the next lesson. So I want you to write at least one paragraph answering the exam question. Do more if you have time. Thank you very much, Year 9. I will speak to you again very shortly.